a Netflix series. Uh, no, it's not. No. Dark. Oh, Stop. Dark. He'd... No, hang yeah. on. Before we start this, yeah. like on our Netflix, they call Better Call Saul a Netflix original, but it's on AMC. And on the American I Netflix... I think this, is, call... a, this is a Netflix original. So they've not. It probably this... isn't on Netflix in Germany where it was originally no, made. It's a Netflix is... original series. It is a Netflix original series. So it is. Oh, hold on, I'm in IMDb. Like a, a I should be no, able to. It's a Netflix original series. So is Happy Valley if you were in America. So I just. It's a Netflix to check. original series. <laughs> it's the first German Netflix original series. I'm happy. So this is a a family <laughs> saga. With a supernatural twist, it's set in a German town where the disappearance of two young children exposes the relationships amongst four families. To give it that kind of heading doesn't really kind of do it justice. It it has got very much a feel of Stranger Things, particularly obviously with the fact that you've got disappearance of young children. Basically, the story is set in the future, but not that far, just, just 2019. So not sort of that far. Now, is he missing or dead, the original character who then writes to the family? There are people missing as well as dead. Yeah. Um, so it is quite confusing. It's the, boy, the ginger boy who's missing. That's it. Mm. Um, and in the first episode, you see that this, this man cre- uh, commits suicide. You see his his son. Uh, his mother is holding on to a letter, which she has been told not to open till a set date in 2019, which we're coming up to. His, um, his... Not just a date, a time, a specific time. Well, that's right, yeah, there's, there's a date and time, isn't there? Yeah. We see these kind of, like, different families. We see one, the the, uh, the principal of the high school, who's married to one of the local sheriffs or police officers. We see a number of interactions uh, with their children, uh, varying ages, I think sort of a teenage daughter, a teenage son, and a Well, there's a, a lot of teenagers, boy. isn't there? It's like the teenage children of the people who saw it, because this is a small yeah. German town, isn't it? So you've got... Like the children of like the poli- one of the police officers and the head teacher. Yes. You've got the police chief and like the psychiatrist have got a child. You've got the um, the son of the guy who committed suicide, and there's yeah. a massive nuclear power plant as well that sort of looms and, and, over the town. And and then you've got obviously the school setting. You know, you've got teenagers acting like teenagers. You know, there's a lot of drug use. There's and a lot a te- of... And, and there is a teenager who has gone missing um, from That's the school. It. And that reminds, I have to say, for me, it did remind me a lot of the first series of Broadchurch, that there was that big meeting where they were talking about their concerns and everything about the boy going missing and how the town had to band together and things like that. And that reminds and, and, me and it's, you know, there, there, there's elements of things like the return, isn't there? You know, a, a, a community well, that's small been communities, impacted. isn't it? It's any yeah. TV show that's, that is the focus for me. But then I think as you're going to go on to, there is a supernatural element to it as well. They go down to this cave where the person that's missing apparently hid their their weed stash. And and basically when they go down to the cave, they, they struggle to get in there. And then there's some sort of supernatural happening. Mm. Uh, that takes place we're not really sure but it coincides with the opening of the envelope it also coincides Mm. with a meeting at the school where they're discussing the missing boy and strangely an old man just kind of walks in was he half dressed he's the he's the father of the psychiatrist and the police chief psychiatrist father who's got dementia and is Mm. saying it's happening again because we learn that i think it's the brother of the policeman he went missing like in Oh, yes, that's right. Yes, there, there was And then a lot this of is like it's happening that. again. And then we've got uh, Mikkel, the young sibling of the of the three, who goes missing when they're doing the, the weed stuff as well. But we find out that the ginger lad who's gone missing is in some weird 1980s style room, isn't he? He's like in a reflex club or something. Well, th- this is where we saw the, 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 uh, the dead or alive. Yeah. Uh, you spin me right round, which was yeah. completely weird in a show set two years in the future there's yeah. a whole scene of uh, 19 and there was also another like a german music there, you know, like a nana yeah. 99 ripple it wasn't that but it was like yeah. that i kind of feel like this show and i'm moving away from the recap into my opinion <laughs> is trying very hard to be weird but i feel like actually it's quite good it's not as weird as it wants to be in other words there's actually very good storyline in here it, although it's a bit convoluted at times, and I, I, I think that's probably due to the fact that I need to watch more episodes. And, and, you know, I chose to watch this. Now, there's various ways of doing this. I would say this is the best dubbed program I've ever seen because the dubbed makes sense. I if you're not dubbed. I thought it was terrible dubbed. So you watched it with British, with English subtitles? 
I no. watched it in German oh, with British subtitles. I did as well because I didn't watch it on Netflix. And I um, think all the, right, well, the I, idea it was a that you'd watch it, it is, is dumb. Mm. Well, I, it really? was automatically set when I did it. I don't know how, but when I clicked on Netflix, when I clicked play, it was automatically done. Oh, it was only it, half. Yeah, it was done to, by me too, but I had to change it. I don't think I would have liked it dubbed. I always prefer those. Like, for example, with, like, um, Japanese animation, they give you the option of having it, like, dubbed or with subtitles. Oh, okay. I don't subtitles because I, I think it loses something when it's not in its original... I couldn't original have watched language. The Bridge with American no. voices or English voices. Luke, what did you think of it? I struggled to follow it. I really couldn't okay. follow it. And even the way you were describing it then, I got lost. There's a lot going on in episode one. There's a lot to and take the, in. And up here, Luke, I had, I had the Netflix open with all the characters and their relationships. Okay. So I could because sort of I couldn't about. even follow like who people were, yeah. their relationship to one another. I couldn't follow what was now and what mm. was not now. And I hadn't had that for a long time. And I couldn't tell if something was... There was a lot of information. I like the feel of it, I like the atmosphere of it, but I really struggled to know what was going on and who mm. was who, and I don't think that was to do with the fact it was German, because I was reading it. I thought it was too many shows in one for me. It was something I'd, Yeah, it was. It was too many things all in one, and I just found it a bit exhausting, mm. and I was just going, it'll end soon, and, and checking the Netflix thing where it tells me how much is left, because I just found it a bit exhausting. And okay. I liked all the teenager stuff, but that didn't gel very well with the adult stuff. Mm. And yeah, I, I like the, the teenage stuff was the best thing for me as well. Yeah. So uh, the... probably you won't be watching anymore, Luke. No, probably not, because I I didn't find it an enjoyable watch. I found it a really confusing and yeah. and disorientating mm. one. I found it. I Matt, relaxed, yeah. What did you feel, Matt? I relaxed into it, but I can I I completely understand Luke's point. I don't agree with you, Gary, to the extent that I don't think it was as sort of fantasy orientated as I thought it would be, as Stranger Things is. Certainly at the moment, you know, there's that threat of what's lurking in that hollow that they, they sort of found and the little boy went missing. Tonally, it sort of, it verged from sort of like the, the, ca the town meeting and stuff like that, the sort of domestic dramas. You know, there's the affair going on between... The, dad, yeah. the police officer and the sort of the widow of the guy who committed suicide. There's the whole stuff about like what's gone on in the past. Then there's like something like a fantasy type element. I don't think I'll watch any more, but I did enjoy what I saw. Oh, and I really like the opening titles as well. I thought they were good. I think I will keep watching. I've, I've heard that this is good. You know, people that I, I respect and trust have said, you know, this is worth keeping going with. So I will do that. They would show pictures of like the family. And even then, I wasn't sure. I was looking at the pictures going, well, have I seen her already yes. or who is that? Yeah. Yeah, I've, the, never had, I've never experienced No, that I know what you really. mean. Like, for example, with the when you first met the hotel owner woman, and I, I was like, I was like, do I know her? Have we seen her before? Because she <laughs> yeah. seems like someone we, we've the, sort the, of seen before, but I don't know. The, thought... the introductions to each character were a little weird. The first introduction to the hotel is, is her arguing with her bank. Where you get the idea that obviously the hotel isn't doing very well, but you get nothing about her other than she's a bit angry. 